Hello everybody, my name is Asian Psycho, and um, this is going to be my Type 25 setup class here, and um, as you can see, Type 25, level max, yay. So, um, let's go around the, uh, the discussing the perks first. Uh, my perk 1, I've got Ghost. Um, I believe at the time of uh, um, doing Type 25, I was about pretty much a level 20, uh, 55, so I was rocking Ghost. Obviously very useful to keep yourself off the radar. So, not really, that's pretty much the only reason to keep myself off the radar, so I can, you know, play a little bit stealthily. Doesn't help when you, the enemy has overall VSATs up all the time, but when they don't, it's pretty useful. Flat Jacket and Lightweight are the other two perks that I could use, but, uh, I mean, this is an assault, this is an assault uh, rifle class, so I didn't feel like those two were necessary. Most of the time I played Kill Confirmed with it anyway, so, um, I didn't really fe feel those two, uh, perks to be quite, uh, like, you know, outstandingly useful. So there you go. Toughness is there because I found myself to be getting shot a lot whenever I was using the Type 25. So, um, yeah. Not really much else I can say there. Toughness is. It helps me out a lot in that respect. So, there you go. Uh, perk 3, Dexterity, because I found myself often to be running in, because I was playing lots of Kill Confirmed, I was finding myself to be to be running into lots of uh, people with some machine guns, so oftentimes I find myself uh, running, bumping into them, and, you know, it's a matter of who can get their gun up first and, you know, spray their first couple bullets first to kill the other guy. So Dexterity was obviously a very good thing uh, to have. And the secondary effect of being able to mantle over things faster uh, made it really easy whenever I was playing, you know, uh, maps like Express or Yemen, where, you know, they've got their little buildings that they like to hide out in, you know, what I'm talking about whenever, when you think of Express, and uh, made it pretty easy to go up there and shoot the brains out. So yeah, Dexterity for perk 3, very good. Lethals, actually let me switch this up for Semtex, I was using a lot of Semtex with the uh, Type 25, I don't know, uh, Plain Kill Confirmed, you want to rock Semtex, I think Frags, like you want to, you want to, if you want to go for those opening nade routes, then go ahead, but I just found Semtex to be a lot better. And as as per usual, tactical for my uh, or concussion for my tactical because concussions are my favorite tacticals. Now let's discuss the uh, perk choices here. Uh, I've got oh shit, I, I should discuss these ones first. I've got stock, uh, fast mags, and target finder. Reason for stock is because you always want to have stock for uh, assault uh, shields or pff, assault shields, assault rifles because um, they're not submachine guns where you can walk around pretty decently fast while ADSing with them. Um, so. Type 25, stock, excellent choice, as it will be with most other assault rifles, I reckon. And um, the fast mags is there because the reload speed without the um, without fast mags is pretty slow. You can work with it, but it's a lot better if you have fast mags. It just reduces your uh, reload speed by like half. Like it's pretty fast. Like for the MTAR, uh, you didn't need to have fast mags. Like its default reload speed was pretty good by itself. But with uh, but, but Type 25, if it, the the default reload speed just feels like it takes a long time. So. That's why I have the fast bags on there. Uh, target finder is there because you want to have an optical with the Type 25. By itself, the iron sights are pretty good, but the muzzle flash may distract you a lot. So it's either you rock the suppressor or the target finder. And when I put the suppressor on it, it felt like it didn't really do a lot of damage. Like it felt like the silencer reduced its range to a point where you know I need to put in like like nearly four, three or four more bullets into my target at long range. So that wasn't ideal. So I took off the suppressor and put on the target target finder. Now, the only reason I put it, I put on the target finder target finder is because of the fact that I was too used to it coming from the MK48. But um, you don't need to put a target finder on it um, because of the fact that you know obviously it's gonna limit your peripheral vision a lot. But um, if you want to use something else, like the RDS or something else like that, then um, go ahead and do that. You don't have to use a, a target finder. I just like the target finder because, you know, I'm used to it. Now, let's discuss other things that could be good attachments here. Uh, quick draw could be, but it's an assault, shield, uh, assault rifle. I almost said assault shield again. Uh, it could be an assault... Uh, it, well, it could be a good choice because it's an assault rifle, but at the same time, it's an assault rifle. It's not that bad. Um, I mean... Like, think of the MTAR, the ADS time was actually pretty bad, so having quick draw on the MTAR was it was probably a good idea. But with the Type 25, I don't, I don't remember having, like, uh, like, a bad, like, time without quick draw, so that's why I don't have it. ACOG, uh, meh. Anyways, 
Foregrip is also a pretty good attachment because obviously the Type 25 has a faster rate of fire than the MTAR, and um, I mean the MTAR's recoil pattern was still pretty meh. It was icky to say the best, or to say the least. And um, having a foregrip on the Type 25 is also a pretty good idea as well, so there you go. Laser sight, I don't really think you really need. I mean, you could rock it, but I mean, it's an assault rifle. It's not a submachine gun. So, um, I mean, its default hip fire spread is, is good enough, I feel. So, yeah, there you go. Select fire, um, don't really have a need for this. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, it's a fully automatic weapon anyway, so there you go. Eotech. Same as the other, uh, same as the other sites. Suppressors. I've already explained my reason for this. Why not to use it? FMJ. Uh, you may or may not want to use this. It depends. Extended mags. Obviously, this uh, raises your um, your starting amount of ammo in your mags uh, up to 40. So yeah, there you go. Launchers. You're a fag if you use this. And millimeter scanner. You may or may not want to use this. So there you go. So that rounds up my Type 25 class. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.